Hello and welcome back to Ricky Ventures. Today's a big day. We are going to install the Renogy 48 volt solar inverter charger here in the hunting cabin here. So we've got all the electrical done from last time, got all the sockets installed, got the breaker box hooked up. Today we're going to see if we can hook this up and actually test it out and see if it actually works. Make sure I don't have any problems anywhere in the electrical system. I'm thinking I'm going to mount it like right there. I'm going to put it on this piece of particle board I brought up with me. I've got quite a few extra pieces of those laying around. So I'm going to put that right there in the corner. We're going to hang this on it. And then behind me here, I have the battery to go with it as well, this 48 volt battery. So that's the plan. We're going to hook that up. We're going to turn it on and see if it all works. Hopefully it works. I don't know if it's going to work or not. If it all works, it's going to be awesome. So we're just going to kind of just tack it against the wall there, I think. It's nice that this particle board is pretty light, so yeah, I'm thinking of just tacking it right here for now. All right, there's the board up there. Then we're going to kind of mark where we want to put this inverter. So we're going to just see if we can hold it up there and mark it at the same time. And this is just kind of temporarily put this up here anyway. Because I don't even know if it's going to be completely level at this point. I think that's good enough to hold it. I think even with that being in particle board, I think that'll hold that inverter up there. It's not that heavy. There we go. Inverter is up there. So now we've got the wires fed through here. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the ground. It's the ground to go right in there. There's my neutral in there. And these are stranded wires, so you kind of have to move them around a little bit, and you can tighten it some more. Move them around a little bit more. And like I said, these are stranded wires, so you can kind of move them around, and then you can tighten them some more. Kind of take some of the space out of it when you move them around. Right, that's all wired up. The breakers are off there. This isn't turned on yet. We are going to hook the battery up to it. See if it comes on. Before we do that though, I'm going to actually put some wire nuts on the end of this one. This is the only live wire that I have still poking out that we talked about putting down there next time. But for now, we're gonna see if this will work. So I'm gonna put some wire nuts on that. So that's protected. All right, the next step to hook the battery up is we've got the breaker here hooks on right there on that bracket. This is our battery. Hook our rat up first. And our breaker up there is turned off, so we shouldn't be sending any power to the unit. All right, we are all hooked up. We've got the battery hooked up to it. Down here, cables are going right there. Breaker is currently off. The inverter is currently off. Let's turn the breaker on first. All right, and let's see if we have uh, some voltage going through there. So we got 50.2 on that side. We got 50.2 on this side, which means we should have 50.2 in here. Yeah, so we got power going all the way to the inverter. Let's go ahead and turn the inverter on and see how it goes. Do you smell something burning? It's starting up up here. Lights came on. You can see it's got the battery connected to it. We'll see if it starts to draw up a power there here in a second, hopefully. Is it gonna start pulling in? There it goes, it's going up to 50. So the inverter's got power. It's kicked on, 
says it's inverting as well. We've got the load going over here, which goes to our breaker box. Let's change this to be amps or AC power. And then let's check to make sure that we have 120 volts. And we do. Got 120 volts coming out of it. So that's going over to here to our breaker box. And let's see if we have 120 volts coming into our breaker box here. So if I go to our neutral and our positive, we do have 120 volts. You can see there. All right, let's turn this breaker. So now we should have 120 on this side. Yep, 119. So that's good. And then uh, let's turn on the circuit going this way. So we have this circuit now running. And I've got a nifty difty outlet tester here. We're going to plug into this and see what it says. Oh, look at that. The light came on. Which, I got the light switch on, so that's a good thing. But, hey, we've got power, guys. <laughs> we've, we've got power. Look at that. Awesome. And according to the tester, it says if these two lights are on, then it is correct. If we push this, it should trip the, the GFI. And it does. So let's reset that one. Let's try the other side of the GFI just to be sure. That shows these two lights are on, which means it's correct. Let's try this one over here. That's good. That's good. And this should be GFI protected, so if I hit the button, it should trip the GFI, which it does. So that, that tells you this whole circuit here is GFI protected. Reset that. Guys, this is awesome. We got power, buddy. We got all oh, we got power. Got the light there. Let's check the rest of the outlets though before we get too excited. This one is the end of that line. Oh, I must have hit the button when I did that. It's like, oh no. There we go. That one's good. This one's good. Both of these lighten up. And then over here, this one should be off. Oh no, it's turned on right now because I had the light switch on. But let's turn it off the light switch. Lights went out on it, just as we would hope. So that's so that's good. That means I, I wired this up correctly. So let's turn this back on again. Yeah, we got power. Put this one here. Definitely got power. If I hit this, the GFI should go. Yep. Guys, that's awesome. We got power here. At least, at least that side works. Now let's uh, turn the other side on and see what happens here. Here's the second breaker. That is on. Let's see if our GFI over here comes on. Got a green light on it, so that's good. Let's plug our tester into it. Both the lights are on there as expected. Press the button. Awesome. Super awesome. Guys, we got power. I'm gonna test the rest of these outlets real quick. Well, that's super awesome, guys. We've got power in all these outlets except for this one, which we don't have wired up yet because we're probably gonna drop one down outside, I'm thinking, out of there. But yeah, we've, we've got power. Like, <laughs> that's just awesome. I've got a light bulb up above, right? So this is super exciting. I'm pretty impressed. I wonder how the uh, inverter's doing. Let's take a look on my uh, let's take a look on my phone and see what the inverter says. So here's what the phone shows. We've got the load, which is obviously the light up here, on, and uh, shows the battery is going into it. We've got a 12 watt load on it, which is that which is that 
light at you know, 120 volts. It's taking less than an amp. It's at 60 hertz as we would expect. The battery's got 50 volts in it, so it's almost full. It's discharging half an amp. Let's uh, turn off the uh, light here and see what happens. So if I go over here, hit the light switch. Let's give this a second to update. It says it refreshed. It says it's still taking 12 volts or 12 watts out of it still. So that light must not, oh, that's only 0.2 amps now. So that light was taking a little bit. And I think just the unit itself has some discharge going into it. So I don't know how long that battery is going to last. I will probably turn it off and we leave so we don't burn the battery down. <laughs> guys, this, that's super exciting. I mean, that's just, that's pretty awesome. Well, now that we got that set up, what do you guys think we should do next? I'm thinking uh, get the solar panels out here in the field. The question is, do we do it over there? I'm actually kind of thinking actually putting them way out over there I'm thinking actually and the reason I'm thinking way over there is because it gets, it gets more sunlight like right now it's it's about noon and the sun is pretty much right in the south right above us right here if I put the panels there I mean I guess they'll miss some sun in the morning now the sun's there. They should possibly, if I if I kind of face them south east, they'll get some sunlight there, I think. But you can see the shadow of that tree is on the ground right there, which concerns me. And I could put them here, but I don't want to put them out in the middle of the the field there. I mean I, I could even put them right here, I guess, right? I mean, although when this thing gets leaves on it leafed out, I think this is gonna be shaded in here. It's just a really hard decision where to put it because I don't want to uh, put it anywhere that would be in way of me, you know, seeing animals come across. Because right now we're in the summer, so the sun is really, really high. But in the wintertime, it's going to be like right over those trees, over the horizon of those trees. And so it may not get much if I put them right here, although this is not a bad spot, I don't think. Oh, there's not a, just not a good spot. I'm going to have to think about that some more. So that's the last cover. Got all the covers on them now, except for that. I don't have a duplex cover for that one. I've got the light switches on here. Light won't work now because I got the power turned off. Got all the covers on all the ones on top. And so right now to, to turn it on is put the battery on. Put the inverter on, turn the breakers on, and then we should be able to, uh, after it starts up there, it's how to work for now until we figure out where we're going to put the uh, solar panels. I'm not sure what to do with them out here. And I can, I mean, right there would be a nice spot right in front of us here, but like that's not a good spot for hunting. I'm thinking probably. Probably the original, we're thinking behind those trees right there is probably the original spot I'm thinking I'm probably going to put them. What I'll do is I'll put them up temporarily there, just put them on the ground there, and I think I'll hook the Victron MPTT controller I've got that I've got for that 12-volt system, but I think I'll hook that up to those solar panels, put them over there, and then put them in with some angle brackets just on a piece of board, and we'll see how they do maybe for a week, because maybe we'll do that next time. Maybe we'll get that set up. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, we've got these soundproof foam pads that I bought off of Amazon. I'll put a link down below to these. I'm going to open this up and let them sit in here. It says they need to sit out for 24 to 48 hours to fully come up. And then my plan is to use that for the covering in here to insulate it and to cover it. So it'll, it'll soundproof it and it'll insulate it at the same time, right? And I'm not going to worry about putting anything on the walls at this point. I probably will just put those on there with either some double-sided tape or maybe some adhesive, just some spray adhesive. But that's what we got for now. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like this video. Tell me down below what you guys uh, think about the progress we're making. Uh, I think we're gonna do this next and well, we'll see. What do you think we should do next? Should we do the insulation next or should we uh, 
start playing with the solar uh, panels out there. I think we actually need to get the solar panels out there because uh, this battery is not going to last too long with it not having a charge going to it since we don't have any uh, uh, utility power to plug into it. All right, I want to thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys on the next one.